south of Lake Pontchartrain. Here we are with Hurricane Barrel again, Category 5 storm. Winds have come down a little bit, but it is still a Category 5, moving quickly at least to the west-northwest. Pressure has come up a little bit, so hopefully these are the signs of some start of a weakening process due to wind shear that we're expecting to increase. Also possibly some dry air getting into the system too, interacting with it. And also it will be moving over Jamaica tomorrow. So land interaction will be something that might further disrupt its organization. And then Yucatan, especially on Friday, then it moves into the Southwest Gulf of Mexico. And as I was showing you before, models in really good consensus all the way till about Friday. There is some spread after that, but it looks like northern Mexico to probably southern Texas will be the eventual movement of this system. Of course, likely as a much weaker system than it is now. And our big upper high is driving it out to the west northwest. Now it looks like this weekend the high could weaken a little bit. We might see it sort of separate into two high pressure centers, one moving a little farther to the east. But I think it will still allow the system to kind of go between those two high pressure centers and that would still take it west of us. So we're not looking for major impacts for our area. That other system behind it now has a lower chance for development. The next name on the list is Debbie. Looking at our seven day forecast, we continue through the 4th of July. Pretty hot, pretty humid, maybe not with an excessive heat warning in place, but pretty close. Our temperatures through the weekend stay in the middle 90s and each day at least we have a chance for some spotty rain.